G'day, Liam Fitzpatrick here. Today I'm uh, going to do a bit of run and gun and going to just fish some rock walls and bridge pylons and I'm only going to fish the Maracu crab. Uh, in the past I've done an unweighted video on how to fish these guys. Today I'm just going to fish them weighted, uh, mainly because I'm fishing in current, you know, a bit of water movement, so I want to get that crab down. Uh, I'm going to sneak into a few of these bridges and stealth one of the, the key points here because you're coming in from an elevated position, so you don't want to go spooking too many fish, but I'll get it underway and I'll tell you how I do it as we go. size I really want but that's a start. So that guy's just eating that little maracu crab. I've got that rigged on a dragon V point micro one and a half gram size two hook. I just cast that out next to a pile on it just slowly let it sink to the bottom. Just let it sit for a while, don't move it. And he just picked it up. Alright I've had a few hits and a couple little fish on the brown little crab but um yeah, the big guys are having a look and shine away, so just going for a colour change. I snuck down along this wall and typically I like to fish the edges first because if you're going to have any fish that are going to spook, it's going to be those fish in shallow. So I'll work those edges and then I'll proceed to cast in a few pylons and see if a colour change makes a difference. Chuck that up against the pile and he actually smashed it straight away. You could see him feeding up high in the water column, just mooching around the, the base of it. And uh, yeah, he didn't hesitate, that guy. I just cannot get past little guys. Still haven't found a big fish, but I have noticed is uh, with the run out tide, a lot of the bigger fish are hanging obviously at the back end where the current's coming out from under the bridges and just on the edges. But all of them have been super spooky, they're hard to approach. Up against the pylons though, there's plenty of little guys. They're just hitting it on the drop or once it hits the bottom, a couple seconds later they just pick it up. Yeah, getting a few. Another little guy. Yeah, I took that at the base of the poles over there. One thing I am uh, utilizing here is the JML Sensation Wave Wrap. It's just got a really soft nibble tip on it, so you know you can allow the fish to pick that bait up. They don't feel any resistance, and it's got an extra fast taper, so you can set the hooks hard. Yeah, another little guy. Plague by him. Oh, hopefully we get a big one soon. Better one, finally. Decent sized fella to eat that crap. He just uh, smashed it as soon as it hit the water, just out at the top of the pylon, mooching around. He's a better fish. Pulled a bit of string, just running four pound leader, nice and light. It's about as light as I'll go around this structure. But they're so wary, they've got such good eyesight. You've got to stealth down to the water, you've got to keep in the shadows. But if you 
get it all to come together, it's well worth it. Little Maracu crab muncher. Awesome stuff. Yes, nice. Oh. Oh. There's been all along that edge. There's a heap there. Finally got one off an edge. They've been spooky as every time I come down, I can see them on the edges. Just can't get a bait to them. I've started throwing wide and bringing the bait back so I don't land it near them or on them and finally got one to take it. I can still see fish moving out on the pylons but Got to have a crack at these. There was a bigger school there, so I think there's a bit of competition for the bait. So, yeah, got one to bite. All right, just another little guy there. This guy ate it off the bottom. Uh, that's the benefit of using the Dragon V-point hook. Uh, it sits upright. That crab sinks horizontal the whole way down, and once it sits on the bottom, that hook point stays upright. So it reduces snags and gives you a good hookup. There we go. Little crab muncher. That's probably going to be it for the day. I'm running out of time. Uh, if there's any questions or you want any information, uh, just hit me up on my socials. I've got no problems helping you out. And if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel. Yeah, enjoy. Happy days. Catch you next time.